Hey friends and welcome back. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you guys what I've been doing this morning. Uh, was kind of busy. I needed to get out of the house. Uh, was kind of bored sitting in there. Uh, but it's getting uh, chillier and chillier out here in Illinois. And uh, this morning what I did was uh, work on this hickory. And uh, I just had uh, just a top section um, where I just cut it a little bit higher than what I needed to and that was last year so what I did was just uh, clean it up and just get some uh, cut paste on there but you can see all the buds coming up for next year which is pretty uh, pretty cool to see and you know uh, So you'll see them all. What I want to do with this is uh, is actually uh, it looked good last year with uh, with just the two branches. There was nothing else, but it was like a literati style, which was pretty cool. But uh, what I want to do is uh, would be nice is to uh, is to just shorten it a little bit. Uh, you know, I was uh, thinking about maybe just cutting it right here. And then letting it fill out like that. You can see all the natural uh, shari on this, which is just absolutely gorgeous on this tree. Just look at that. That was all natural when I got it. Really cool. So, that's what I did this morning. Wouldn't mind uh, shorten it, like I said. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it fills out this year. Because uh, last year was only just just these two uh, branches. And it was a nice little apex, you know, canopy on it. Uh, and it looked pretty cool. But uh, over here I have the oak. And uh, what I did was the same thing. Just uh, clean up the cut mark that I had on top. Uh, but this tree in the fall was so beautiful. Such a nice looking tree. The colors on it, green, yellow, reds, oranges. Such a cool little tree. I love the oak trees, um, especially with it being a native tree here in Illinois. Uh, you know, makes it a whole lot better, easy to grow. And uh, you can see uh, the branches on here. They're all, uh, you know, goes one, splits off into twos. It's really starting to be... Uh, a nice looking uh, little tree. We'll see how it comes up uh, this spring. Uh, usually oaks take a little while to open up. March, April, May-ish. Uh, but you can see all the little buds on here. So we'll see what we're going to get. Because last year was the first year I had this tree. So uh, this year it really will start popping. So... I love collecting the oak trees. One of my favorites. So here I uh, covered up my uh, my maple, and uh, what I did was just put pieces of wood, you know, on the around the the tree, and just uh, took a piece of plastic from Home Depot. It costs like four dollars for a huge roll, and just staple it. And it just protects the trees, you know, in the winter time. Uh, since this tree is still pretty new, uh, with it be getting so cold out here, uh, you know, you don't want branches to, uh, you know, die off or just snap off, um, or little uh, rabbits and stuff come up to eat it. So just protecting it, uh, just till it gets older. Uh, so that's why I did this last year. I did the same thing with it, and uh, it worked out really well. So, I got a couple other trees like that that I have wrapped up. And uh, you can see, I don't know if I showed you guys, I don't know if, I haven't posted a video in a while. Uh, just because I've been having uh, problems with my, uh, with my computer. It's not letting me, uh, you know, edit. If I, if I edit, it like kicks, uh, kicks me out right away. And... Uh, you know, then I have to restart and I have to do that. For me to put a video out, it takes me so long. Uh, 
but I finally invested into uh, a nice computer. Uh, so I'm not going to be uh, pulling that out till probably like uh, probably around like Christmas time. So another couple more weeks and uh, you know I'll get uh, some I'll get a good uh, editing uh, app and uh, you know my videos will be a lot get it get a lot better so uh, so yeah what was I saying so you can see how I put the tarp on this uh, greenhouse just on the, the top part so it doesn't get uh, too much light in there you don't want it to get too hot in the winter time in this greenhouse because they get they, it could get pretty hot in here even though it's cold outside in this greenhouse will get super warm and uh, you don't want that with uh, you know junipers and elms and all that you don't want it to get too uh, too warm in here otherwise they'll uh, it's too much of a fluctuation and uh, temperature going up way too high in the daytime and then uh, at night it just drops and you don't want that so uh, the tarp's been doing pretty well been keeping it cool in here uh, so that's why I did that but uh, today what I'm gonna be doing is uh, working on this uh, juniper you can see the natural, uh, it had like, uh, shari, two like shari lines right here. And, uh, with it being so long, it, uh, starting to close up. So, usually when you see people do sharis, it's usually like one line, you know, going up to a dead branch or something, or they follow the the branch going downwards because uh on junipers when the when a branch dies off uh the whole root will die off that's feeding it so you you can actually follow it all the way down and uh, create a shari but uh what i'm gonna do I, i'm not gonna keep the shari right here it just looks too uh you know too bad with the shari right here so i'm just gonna i'll end up cutting this off when i get the wire off but uh what I'm going to do is actually just create, uh, you know, just like how it is, just, uh, we'll open this up here and then open up this top part right here, just like how it is. And then, uh, over time we'll get that nice roll and, uh, we'll just keep opening it. I've been debating on this and working on this for a long, probably like six months now. I've been thinking if I want to do that, uh, do Shari on this tree. So anything that, uh, you know, that you, uh, you want to do on trees, you know, you know, some things can be done quick and some things, uh, you know, take some time. And you want to make sure that you uh, make the right decision because uh, a shari is totally different uh, than cutting a branch off because a branch you could regrow. But when it comes to, uh, you know, making a shari or... You want to make sure that that's what you want to do with this tree because this tree's, you know, beautiful as the way it is. But just creating a nice little, uh, two little sharis like how it was right here uh, would bring out the age in this tree. So that's really what I want to do. It's a nice little tree. So this year we'll also uh, get a nice pot for this uh, and repot it. So we'll get into nice uh, rectangle, small little pot. It needs it. So, yeah, let's uh, get started. So I just want this to uh, to come out as uh, best as possible. I've been working on this tree for a long time, and you know something like this changes the whole aspect of the tree you know anytime you put your hands on the tree you want to you want to improve it so like I said I'm just gonna open this up a little bit just want to keep it as natural and then I'm going to leave this section right here 
and then just come up to the top and take that out So the wire is almost ready to be taken off. And when I take that off, I'll go ahead and uh, clean the whole trunk on this uh, with the wire brush. So the tools that I have is just, you know, your regular, uh, you know, just a regular knife and... Something like that. And then I do have a carving uh, bit. So we'll see if I'm going to use that. So I can't wait to use my new, uh, be able to use my new computer. That's why I haven't been, been able to put out any videos. It's just such a pain in the butt. I have so much material that I want to be able to put out and uh, it's just frustrating that you know I'm not able to I don't know if the person before me who had this tree when I got this tree it was nothing like this um, but I, I think the person who had it before me, he, uh, I don't know if this is natural or he tried to do something like this. I'm going to be collecting a whole bunch of trees this year, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. So you guys can check that out. I love collecting oak trees. I don't know why. But I, I just have a property that I'm able to, uh, to go and collect some of the such nice. I can't believe how nice these trees are. I can't wait to be able to show you guys how uh, when I go and get them. This tree is going to look very nice when it goes into uh, goes into a new pot. It's been in this pot for a couple years now. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, get my Dremel set up.
move you guys back because I had the camera set right here. I couldn't really get in here. I'm just taking my time doing this. Really no rush. Oh yeah, that's looking good. bit out sometimes you got to just scrape off the bit because a bunch of stuff gets stuck in there Actually, let me do the other one. looking awesome. Because you always see people, uh, you know, just go ahead and make a straight line. You know, I want to change it up a little bit and just do, you know, do a shari down here and a shari up here. Not just one full straight one. Some trees look good like that. I mean, most of them do, I should say. You know, I just want to want my tree to be a little different. And this was natural on the tree anyway. I'm just going to keep it like that. Just going to open it up. It's really going to change the whole tree when put it in a new pot. Plus, I'm going to thin out a lot of this foliage as well. It's getting uh, getting out of hand, out of control. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I love working on trees. It's just the greatest thing for me. I'm sure a lot of us feel like that. clean it up a little bit and then I'll come back and show you guys Alrighty friends, so uh, I finished it up and uh, you know, this is how it turned out. Turned out very nice, very natural and uh, really uh, happy I did it. You know, it's been a long time of me, uh, you know, thinking of uh, what I wanted to do, uh, you know, to... Uh, bring this tree up uh, another level and uh, you know doing that definitely did that even though it was just something very small it uh, really uh, changed it and you know as the time goes on and it um, the live vein starts to uh, you know swell up a little bit more you could open it up and uh, it'll really start to pop so really happy uh, with the way it turned out so I love this little tree. And uh, next time you guys see this, uh, we'll be repotting it and uh, really see how it turns out. Uh, we're gonna be taking off the wire, um, taking off this branch right here and uh, get into its new pot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it. This tree is turning out gorgeous. So, such a nice little tree I mean look at it so we'll push back some of this foliage and uh, you know keep it small like this as long as we can such a beautiful little thing so really happy with this so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, as always we'll catch you guys on the next one peace